Hello everyone guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to do our second part of the first episode of the gaming series. So, we will do a little recap and then we will go to the next part of the episode. So, let's get started. Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Anybody up there? Shoot, okay? Clementine and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. 
Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3. Left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. This right. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Shh. 
Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chop. What are you doing? Trying to get home. This neighborhood's a disaster. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... Your monster's coming. We gotta go. Lee, quick. Let's go. Sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Just uh, out for a drive. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. 
on the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't get your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I saw a cop come back from the dead. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We got to do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. All right, guys. So, ये था हमारा आज का एपिसोड एक्चुअली जो बच्ची इसमें मेन कैरेक्टर है उसकी एंट्री हो चुकी है तो वो उस आदमी के साथ चल पड़ी आगे मतलब कि उसके पेरेंट्स के मैसेज पड़े थे मतलब कि वॉइस मैसेज रिकॉर्ड हुए हुए थे जो कि उस आदमी ने सुने हैं तो वो उससे ऐसा लगता है कि जैसे उसके पेरेंट्स मर चुके हैं लेकिन भी पता नहीं क्योंकि वो क्लियर नहीं था कुछ भी तो अब आगे जर्नी स्टार्ट होगी उन दोनों की एक आदमी और एक बच्ची है उनको कुछ लोग मिले हैं जिनके साथ उनके घर पर ठहरे हैं तो एक्चुअली भी आदमी जख्मी भी है वो कार एक्सीडेंट में उसकी टांग जख्मी हो गई थी तो अब आगे देखते हैं क्या होता है तो मैं आपको इस एपिसोड के अगले पार्ट में इंशाल्लाह मिलता हूँ सो सी गैस लेटर